Hi guys, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my cloth diaper stash for my six month old daughter. I am a first time mom and I have cloth diapered my baby since she was a newborn and now she's six months old. and. I absolutely love it, my husband loves it, and I have built up a pretty nice collection that I'm really happy with. I, I like how all my diapers work, and so if you guys were curious, I just wanted to show you my cloth diaper stash, all the liners I have, all the accessories I have, I use cloth wipes as well, I want to show you those kind, and then just everything I use for cloth diapering. I keep it all in this big bin, it has handles on the sides, and this goes out in our living room. It lives right next to our piano, so it's right in the living room where I change most of her diapers anyway, and then it's right outside of our bedroom door, so at night, if I have to change her diaper, I just have to reach right out of the door, and it's right there. So it's in a really good location, really convenient. So I'm gonna start with the diapers themselves. I'm gonna start with my Nora's Nursery collection, which is actually, most of my diapers are Nora's Nursery. I recently did a review on them. They are, so far, my favorite cloth diaper that I have found. So I will link that review if you would like to go see if you're curious about it and you don't really know what kind of diapers you want to get. The first up is Nora's Nursery's set of four. It's called the Bees Knees set. And I actually am missing one of the diapers right now. I think it's dirty. So, but I'll insert a little clip of it here as well just so you can see what it looks like. But this is my absolute favorite pack of theirs. They have the cutest prints and these are my some of my favorites. So oranges, bees, little pink print and then the other one is a grapefruit print and then this next set is a set of seven and it's kind of like a buffalo plaid hunting set this is a gender neutral set which I really like there's a plain black one a plaid one one with some moose on it one with bears and arrows and mountains antlers and then another plaid there's another one in the set that's missing again because it's, it's hard for me to have all of her diapers clean at the same time because she's always going through them so here is another set of seven these are also gender neutral they're just some really cute, very simple prints, which I like. Black one, one with some X's, white one, plaid, gray, and surprisingly, I even had everything in that set to show you guys, which that isn't gonna happen very much. So I have one more Nora's Nursery diaper that I got used, so it wasn't part of a set, but it's just this lime green one. And then I have two Alba Baby. There's one with feathers and one Mustard yellow. I really like both of these. Here is a Besto Baby. This is the only one I have. This is an owl print. This is a kawaii green diaper. It's got like airplanes and this outside material is really soft. Most of my other ones are just like a slick waterproof material, but this one looks really comfortable and then it also has the charcoal inside. All of these other ones just have a white suede inside, which I really like as well. Here is a baby gold one with an elephant on the front and it has one on the back as well. Okay, pause the video. I'm just working on editing right now and I realized that every time I was talking about a diaper cover, I said liner accidentally. Apparently I was very confused when I filmed this. So let me just clarify. This is a diaper cover. And this is a liner. And the pre-folds are liners, the flower stacks are liners, and so I apologize for confusing you guys, but just letting you know, and now back to the video. And now that is all of the pocket diapers that I have. And so we're moving on to liners. So these two are the same brand. It actually doesn't have the brand on them, so I don't remember off the top of my head, but I will link all of these diapers down below, all the ones that I can find. But these are just liners, and it's got a fox print and a wildlife animal print. And then there's another one that Sophie is wearing right now. So these are just basically a waterproof cover and you just put a liner inside here and it tucks in this and then you can just change the liner and use this several times. With the pocket diapers you can only use them once each time they go in their diaper. So that is one nice thing about these. These also don't quite fit as well so that's another reason I like the pocket diapers a little bit better. They seem to be a little more comfortable. They also last a little bit longer than these. So there's things I like about both kinds. Here's another liner with arrows. Here's my last liner. This is a Happy Endings brand. It has arrows on it. And this is actually my favorite brand of liners that I have. Just because it has, you can tuck the liner in both ends like this so it's a little bit more secure. And then I also like, when you snap it, I like that it has three snaps. These ones, these ones only have two snaps. 
so they, that's probably why they don't fit quite as well. This one is just a little bit more adjustable. All my pocket diapers are like this as well, so I just really like that. So I have about 28 total diapers, and that's including pocket diapers and liners, which liner, liners can be used several times. So that is plenty of diapers for me for one baby, and I can go like three or four days in between washing diapers, so that's been a really good amount for us. Now let's move on to the liners. So these are the kind of liners that came with most of my pocket diapers. These have microfiber on the inside and then this is a bamboo on the outside, which is good because you don't want to put just microfiber right on your baby's skin. And then this brand didn't come with any of my diapers. I bought this separately just because I wanted a lot of extra liners, just because you go through a lot more liners than the actual diapers, because I use I use two liners for one diaper at night, and then with just the plain covers you can use several of these with one cover. So these are also bamboo with microfiber in the middle as well. And all of my pocket diapers are stuffed right now, and then the extra liners, the extra of these kind of liners that I have, I think I have like 10 to 15 extra that don't get stuffed in the diapers when I fold all of them, so I have plenty of extra if I want to pack one for at night, or if something happens, it's nice to have a lot of extra of the liners. And then I have six of this charcoal liners. I have three just that are straight and then three that have the cinched, cinched edges. So charcoal is very observant and these are very healthy for your baby's skin so you don't have to worry about putting these right against your baby's skin. And then I have a big stack of these prefolds. So I pretty much only use these with the covers not the pocket diapers. If I run out of my other liners, I, I can use these in the pocket diapers. I just fold it in thirds like this, I put the tag on the inside, and then I put this side up so that this seam isn't bothering her. But then you just take this kind of diaper and you put it up under this fold right here, and it just lays along like this, and you just put it over your baby like that. And then you can, this is dirty, you take it out, and you put a new one in here and it can go three or four times. So I have a big stack of these because uh, I just really like these for all kinds of things. If she has a big spit up emergency, I can just grab one of these out of the bin in the living room and use it to wipe up stuff. So these, I don't just use these for diapers. It's just really nice to have them on hand for all kinds of stuff. So this is only like half of the ones that I have. I have a lot of these and I'm really glad I do. And then these are flower sack liners and they're just big cloths. I think they're just cotton and you just fold them up into the shape that you need and you can either stuff them in your pocket diapers or put them, just lay them in your covers. A lot of people like to actually sew these into the shape that they want them because it is a little bit inconvenient to have to fold them up every time, but I wanted to try these and I only recently got them. I have three of these, so those are really nice. So I have way more liners than I actually do diapers, which is kind of necessary for us. Now let's move on to wipes. For, I think, at least five months, I used just regular disposable wipes and then we ran out and I was like why not just try using cloth wipes I'm ready cloth diapering her it's only one extra step and I am so glad I did it is so so nice so I just use just plain old baby washcloths these are just really soft this is the spa silk brand you get a pack of like I want to say 16 of these with three hooded towels and we go through a lot of towels anyway. This isn't related to cloth diapering, but it, it comes in a set, so I really like that. So I think we got a total of three sets. So that seems to be enough of these wipes. But what I have been doing is I have a spray bottle here. This is just a glass spray bottle so that none of the plastic leaches in. And then I, when I'm getting ready to give her diaper change, I just spray, I spray the cloth and that gets it nice and wet. I don't spray it on the baby because that would not be very comfortable. Now moving on to my wet dry bags. I have these two little on-the-go wet dry bags. These are from Nora's Nursery. I got them with my packs of seven, so they each just came with the packs, which was really handy. So as soon as these are done washing, I just put them right in my diaper bag. They just are they're either being washed or they're in my diaper bag because I only use these on the go. And then I have three that I use at home. I have one with arrows, and it's it's waterproof on the inside and it has elastic so you can like fold it over like a trash can or a laundry basket. And same with these. I have two of the same. They're just like a, a chevron pattern and they have handles that unsnap. I really like the handles and these two are quite a bit higher quality than this one. But those waterproof bags aren't even super necessary because you can just like throw your diapers in the washing machine 
and then they will just be there until you wash something because I actually end up doing a load of laundry like every day or every other day so that isn't too long for them to sit in there. We just have a lot of other laundry. We're in the, in the middle of a remodel so our clothes get a lot dirtier faster and I just wash our diapers with everything. So these aren't super necessary if you're going to do something like that but they are really handy if, if you're going to go longer in between and you, or you don't want to wash your diapers with your other clothes. So now let's move on to what I do if she has a diaper rash. Here's my diaper rash supplies. I make my own homemade diaper rash cream. I will do a recipe for this soon, but it's just super simple and it works amazingly well. I would never go back to store-bought because it doesn't even work as well as this and it's full of toxins and chemicals and things that aren't good to put on your baby's skin. So one of the ingredients in this is zinc oxide, which makes it so that it makes a waterproof coating on the baby's skin so that none of the pee or poop sits on their skin and makes a rash. So if you're going to be going on a long car ride, I like to put this on her. And then even if she does go, she can't really feel it or tell and it doesn't create a rash. If you're cloth diapering, that isn't good. If you get that zinc oxide on the diaper because it'll make a moisture barrier and then all the pee will just run out of the sides of the diaper and it won't soak in, which is not good. So what I use right now is these are Bumpkin's diaper liners and it's just this really thin liner that lets all the liquid go through but it keeps the zinc oxide off of the diaper so everything can soak all the way through and this is also really nice for once your baby is having more solid poops because they will poop on this and then you can just like lift it up and throw it away and this is you can flush it down the toilet I wish I could find something that was not disposable but this is the only disposable thing we're using for her diapering right now and I mean I don't need to use them every day so I'm okay with that right now. I think that is all for my cloth diaper stash and all the accessories that I use and supplies. Again I will have everything that I used and that I can find linked in the description box below if you want to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. I post new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday and I will see you next time. Bye!